G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is the long division of polynomials. Okay, so it's a way of uh, dividing uh, polynomials um, using long division. And this is going to lead us then to looking at a direct way of dividing polynomials. Okay, a bit of a trick for a faster way of dividing polynomials. Okay, so we're going to start out with the standard way, then we're going to move to the uh, a lot faster way. So an example of how to divide polynomials, an example of where this would look like, a question like this, it would look like this. Say x squared, uh, and we're going to add 3x, and we're going to take away 18, and into this we're going to divide uh, x take 3. So first off, we're going to do the long division of these. It's really, really important uh, that we rewrite this. Okay, so it looks like a long division question. So the way that we do this is as follows. I'm going to get this x squared plus 3x, take away 18, and I'm going to write this like a division question. I'll get rid of that. It's not a very good line. And I'll write this like a division question, okay? So what we have is x take away 3. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of this uh, first part now because it's a little bit uh, bit clunky, I think. So, let's get rid of that. And we'll move this so it's in the centre here. So, we're going to divide this particular equation here. Now, to do this, we do the following. Actually, before we do, I think it's really, really important to note, just something to make sure of. Make sure that your powers here are in descending order. Occasionally, you're going to get the odd question, the odd tricky question, where you're going to have to reorder them. Uh, look, 99% of the questions are going to be like this, where you have x squared, x, no, x to the, you know, zero. But just make sure this is the case. Okay, so that's a really important step, by the way. So first off, the way that we divide this is we look at our numbers here. We have x squared and we have x. So we look at these first numbers here, we have the first uh, variables here, and we say, what do we need to multiply by x here to get x squared? Or how many times does x go into x squared here? And the answer to that is x. It goes x times. So x times x is x squared. Now what we do is we have to take this off our number here. So what we do is we go x times x is x squared. And x times minus 3 is minus 3x. And we're going to put these in brackets, or in parentheses as you might call them, and I'll probably mispronounce that, and we're going to take that away. So let's do that. So x squared, take away x squared. You're generally going to find these guys cancel each other out. And then you're going to look at this term here, and you're going to have 3x, and we're going to take away minus 3x. So we have 3x take away minus 3x. Well, minus a minus is the same as plusing. So our answer here is going to be 6x. And we just bring this term down, which is minus 18. Okay? So we get to the next part of our question, which is this one. We have 6x take away 18. This is what we have left, and we're still trying to divide this x take away 3 into it. So we look at our numbers now, and we say, what goes into both what with x here and 6x? Basically, how many times does x go into 6x? And the answer is it goes in 6 times. Okay, it goes in positive 6 times. Okay, so now what we do is the same sort of thing. 6 times x is 6x, so they're going to cancel each one out. You've probably worked that out already. And 6 times minus 3 is minus 18. Okay, and we're going to take this away. So... These two cancel each other out. Then minus 18 minus minus 18. Well, minus a minus becomes a plus. So 18 plus 18. These guys also cancel each other out. So our equation is finished. Our answer is x squared plus 3x minus 18 divided by x take away 3 is x plus 6. So hopefully you get this, okay? Now I'm going to go through one more example of the long division here uh, just to see how you go. So I'll rub this one out, and I think I'll put a bit of a harder example here. Uh, I'll do, for example, this one here. Say we do, I'm going to, I'm going to write it in a, a good way straight away. So say we are do, this is the number we're going to be dividing by, 2x plus 2, and I'm going to be dividing that into 8x cubed, 
plus 12x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so we're going to do this using long division. Now, first off, our powers are all in order, so everything's good. We can start just doing this. So what number, looking at these numbers here, our 8x cubed and our 2x, what number do we, how many times is 2x going to 8x cubed? Now, the answer to that is it goes in 4, because 2 goes into 8 4 times, and x squared, okay? Because x into x cubed goes x squared times. So now we're going to multiply these out. So we go 4x squared times 2x is 8x cubed. And this is going to be added to 2 times 4x squared, which is going to be 8x squared. Okay, put these in brackets, or in parentheses, we'll take them away, and we're going to get the following. We're going to end up with 8x cubed take away 8x cubed, they're going to cancel one another out. So 12x cubed take away 8x cubed, uh, 8x squared, sorry, 12x squared take away 8x squared is going to be 4x squared. And these numbers we're just going to carry down. Okay, so we're going to end up with minus 2x plus 1. Okay, what we do now is we look at what number here and what number here. So how many times does 2x go into 4x squared? It goes in how many times? So 2 goes into 4 positive 2 times. And x goes into x squared x times. Okay, so let's now multiply these out again. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. They're going to cancel one another out, eh? And then 2x times positive 2 is positive 4x. Okay, and we're going to take that away. Okay, so 4 take away 4. These guys are going to cancel one another out. Okay, and then minus 2x take away positive 4. So minus 2 take away positive 4 is minus 6x, so I'm going to actually write this in a different colour, I think. So we'll write this now in, how about we write this in black down here. So look, this is going to be minus 6x. Okay, and this 1, positive 1, is also going to carry down. Okay, so we've almost finished. We now need to look at this number and this number. How many times is 2x going to negative 6x? It goes in negative three times. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Minus uh, three times, uh, minus three times two x is six x. Well, minus six x. And minus three times two is minus six. So we're going to put these in brackets. We're going to take it away. My, uh, six take away, minus six take away minus six is going to be the same as minus 6 plus 6x, sorry, and we're going to get the answer of 0. And positive 1 take away minus 6 is the same as positive 1 plus 6, so we're going to get the answer of 7. Okay, so this 7 is going to be our remainder, the remainder of 7. Okay, because we can't divide 2x plus 2 into 7, we've got a remainder. So that's our answer. Now, the link I'm going to put up now is going to show you a way of pretty much eradicating all of these steps and pretty much just going straight to your answer here. So I really recommend you check it out if you want to save yourself a fair bit of time. I'll see you then.